finding them. All right, so this one here is the Liberty Civil Defense. Into that same piece of gelatin, we'll obviously try to shoot it a little bit lower, stay off the same wound channel. Take a look and see what happened there. Quite a bit of energy was delivered, that's for sure. Oh wow, we've got our first actual decent test for a change. Yeah, I'm sort of new to this, so everything that I do is kind of new, and this is pretty neat. We've got a good entry wound right here. Let me pull these muffs off so I don't have to scream. Um, good entry. Big, huge pocket fragmentation. Um, petals, like, you know, everywhere. One went out there, one went down. This way, you can see it in there. Um... Another one going this way, but that wound channel, that initial expansion channel is just huge in there. Um, it's just huge. You can see it's all shredded to pieces, and, and everything that it followed, it kind of cut. Um, and then way at the back here, you can see that rear of the bullet, the base of it. Same thing we've been seeing in, in a lot of the shots. We find that little piece. It's about 28 grains that's left over which is over half of what that bullet started at. started at 50 grains. The ballistic gelatin actually works pretty well. I just need to get myself a, a bigger mold and a, um, a bigger block of it, obviously. Um, something that we can stop the other bullets with and also something that we can uh, not have to lean down so far to shoot. But the consistency of this is pretty darn good. I like it. Not to mention, it, it's it's clear enough. You can actually see. So I'm going to put this back in here because I, when I make more, I believe I can reuse this as long as I don't wait too long to do it. So there we go. Um, we've got our tests on that. Nothing scientific about any of it, obviously. But we did catch that bullet in there, which is pretty cool, and we got a huge wound channel to look at.